I think it's safe to say that we have many challenges ahead. Um, but what your attitude and your mindset is about going after those challenges really will be the difference maker um, in how you receive them. I call it a beautiful mess. The progress from Cardozo has been amazing. They've had a chance to do a lot of piloting and prototyping, and that has really helped strengthen their model. And now it's the time to test it out, taking all of that learning and enhancing their model so that they're ready for a full launch of their redesign. We are now engaged in a pilot called Learning Lab Friday. And Learning Lab Fridays is twofold. It's twofold to provide additional student programming that students will not get traditionally during the school day. And the second component is to provide teachers additional planning time to plan within their departments around interdisciplinary learning. Then you guys will have some time to review the student work samples. I put some guiding questions here just to think about as you're looking at those samples. After you guys review the student work samples, then we're going to like name the gap. Though. So students are not yet able to blank because they do not yet understand how to blank. No matter how much you learn, you don't really know as much as you think you know. As the math instructional coach, our Learning Lab Friday um, consists of a weekly data analysis as well as a lot of instructional learning. I am spending a lot of my time doing a lot of outside learning around the curriculum and then I'm coming in giving my knowledge and all the things that I'm learning outside of our coaching sessions and giving that to our teachers in the hopes of creating an academic culture where students are able to thrive inside and outside of the classroom. So we created an environment where teachers would not be interrupted throughout that process, led by instructional leaders, including myself, which then begs the question, okay, if the teachers are together for an hour and a half, who's got the kids? Well, we created really innovative, exciting programming that happens during that time for the students, and they're having a great time. It is a 90-minute enrichment opportunity for our students to tap into services and activities wrapped around entrepreneurship, social-emotional learning, arts, music. We're just trying to tap into what the students really want to do and trying to find partnerships to come in and offer those services for them every Friday. What's your passion? Doing hair. Doing hair? I know her passion is making money. I think the entrepreneurial class is going really well. It's different because the class feels more relevant to the real world, like how real world society is. And they teach us how it will be to run your own company about things that you're passionate and things that you want to do. We would like to make sure that we are taking them through the entire procurement process of starting and launching their business to be able to pitch to some of our good friends that have access to capital. And we want to help them not only start and launch their business, but sustain the business and scale their business. We pretty much want to make sure that the partners that we're bringing into the school look at the whole child um, holistically and also can help us maneuver how the student transitions grade levels within the building, but also manage their emotions when they're coming outside of the building. The mission of the Latino Study Fund is to work with students from 9th to 12th grade and to guide them into a healthy path to high school and adulthood and to apply for colleges, how to make a resume, how to write a professional emails, all those skills. Students need to learn how to communicate to each other. And we do activities, icebreakers, do presentations. When I started, I saw this, the students getting shy, you know, they didn't want to talk with me or with other students, but over the weeks, I could see their progress, you know, in their faces, their smiles. And they started talking with others and playing with others. When it comes to our Latino, Latina, families, we want to make sure that they have the same exposure and the same access that everyone in America has to become financially stable, to become financially wealthy, and we have to do ourselves the, the, the favor to open up to the redesign process and really question the policies and to really support the mindset shifts. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Do we learn that we need to tweak something each Friday? Yes, we do. But then we have a debrief to talk about that afterwards, and then we make those necessary corrections and changes for the next Friday. That is like a snippet of what's going to happen at a large scale 
each year of the process because not everything we do is going to work to perfection. And we need to be okay with that. If we transform a community, we transform a nation. The generational wealth of knowledge, the depth of knowledge that our students are gonna be able to experience and share with their family, um, share with their children, you can't put a price tag on that.